That cannot be the line for Space Mountain. No. Merry Christmas in July, everyone. Today is Christmas in July because it's July 25th, halfway there to Christmas here at Disney. And you know I'm loving it already. You can see I've got all my Christmas attire, hat right there, shirt. I am set to go seeing views of Cinderella Castle first thing this morning, make my way to Splash Mountain. Now, it was a bit more crowded than I was expecting this morning at the TTC, but once you make it to the Magic Kingdom, it uh, opens up quite a bit. Look who's making his way right down the way. Yeah, little. I'm making my way towards the Splash Mountain merchandise store. Look for that tumbler again for myself. We'll see if I can find it. If not, no problem at all. Love hearing that whistle in the background. 30 minute wait right now for Splash Mountain. It's one of the longest ones that I've seen, especially first thing in the morning. Line goes all the way out here. Well, found out the only thing they have left is the Splash Mountain Rare Bear right there. No more tumbler mugs at all. And they said they may not get any more. We'll find out, we'll see, but. And then, uh, not right now. All right, I'm working for some Christmas in July. Fun. Now, to start our morning, I'm gonna go grab some coffee from Starbucks and we'll get some breakfast. There's a tremendous number of people walking into the Magic Kingdom right now. I found a little break as they walk between. There's a tremendous, I mean, huge number of people just piling in right now, first thing in the morning, Christmas in July. Now, the line for Starbucks actually stops right there. There's no line here actually beyond where the line goes. See, there's, there's no. There's no more line, but uh, he's still keeping that social distance. Hey, we're still standing in line here at Starbucks to get entertained as we're standing in line. I love it. Even though it's just one food, it is super personalized. She'll just look right at you because there aren't as many people here waiting for her. I go, no, if you, hey, I love it. Hey, I love it. See what I mean? For breakfast this morning, I'm sitting in the Tomorrowland Terrace Mask Relaxation Zone. So Mask is actually sitting off. We're at, allowed to take masks off even if we're not eating here, but I figured also a good spot for eating too. Tomorrowland Terrace, nice, not air conditioned, but it does have those fans spinning around, which are super, super nice. Got the upside down caramel macchiato, you know I love it. Venti water, learned my lesson. Double smoked sandwich for breakfast, sounds amazing. It's all thanks to Tom and Michelle. Tom and Michelle, thank you so much for your gift card. It means a tremendous amount. Per my own rules, I'm going to drink the entire water before I even take a sip of that coffee. Believe it or not, it's actually starting to fill up here inside the mask relaxation zone. Very, uh, there's a couple empty tables here and there, but there are more people starting to come in now. Luckily, I am done at this point, or almost done. I'm gonna walk with this one and make our way more Christmas in July. It's amazing to me to see how many more people are here in the park. There's a, there's a line happening for Buzz Lightyear Space Rangers film. We were first here, it was first open. There was no line. The line is moving, moving right along. You see people are just kind of keeping that social distance between each other. But this is far more people than we had just a few days ago. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin officially has a 25 minute wait and the line goes all the way outside. That is something I just, I didn't see coming. I didn't expect it. Maybe it's because it's Christmas in July or maybe it's a, it's a weekend. It's a weekend in Magic Kingdom. I guess that does happen. Oh my gosh, Carousel of Progress. Take a look at this. There's so many people. Whoa. Oh my God. I don't know where all the crowds are coming from. Maybe it's an early morning thing. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting to kind of experience throughout the day, see if the crowds keep up like this. Buzz Lightyear's meeting at the Galactic Gateway right here in Tomorrowland. Basically a walk-up personalized meet and greet. So you know, there's no line, I'm just, I'm just walking right up. Buzz is interacting with guests as we make, it, as we make our way in here. Think I could join uh, Space Rangers, maybe? Think I have what it takes, possibly? It's po okay, all right, I'll have to prove myself in the proving grounds. All right, I like That's it. That's awesome, you just kind of walk up to him and say hi and you just, it's very quick, very quick. That cannot be the line for Space Mountain. No, it's not. It's the line for 
Oh wow, Joffrey's is open. Okay, a lot of new things today. Joffrey's Coffee is open now. It was not open just a few days ago. You can see it's a bit of a line to get over there. But other than the line, it's still pretty open here around tomorrow. As we make our way towards Space Mountain, take a look. The line goes all the way outside here. It is socially distanced, as we can see. There's definitely been some uptick in crowds. There's a, a totally recognizable difference. 20 minute wait right here for Space Mountain and the crowds go all the way out here. Strike that. They don't go all the way out here. They go all the way out there. That's. That's the line for Space Mountain. Wow. It's a noticeable difference. Like right away, I can tell that there is an uptick in crowds today. Something has changed. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's more of those park passes were released. Even though it looks more crowded, it only says five minute wait for the Tomorrowland Speedway. You know what? I believe it. Let's test it. Let, let's test it. Lining up all the way out here. See where is it? We're lining up. This is where the line ends, over here. Let's, let's see if it's five minutes. Okay, I'm officially in line, even though I'm walking. Clicking start. It's been two minutes and 24 seconds, and we're already over here. That was, yeah. it looks so much longer than it is. You go in the line, you say to yourself, oh my gosh, it's such a long line. And then you actually, you actually go through the line, and it's so fast because there's so much space between you and other Four guys. minutes and nine seconds right there. That was... So quick, let's go. Hey, look at the spray they're using to clean the cars. Great to see. Marland Speedway, I'm looking forward to when the People Mover is up and running again. It's gonna be a great day. I'm looking at the Tron construction. I'm telling you, every time I pass by it, I'm seeing something new. We have at least one car space between cars, like six feet between people. There's our closer look at the Tron light cycle power run there. Take a look, you can see a lot of construction being done right over there. Those uh, things up above for that overhang it's going to be there very very soon just imagine seeing it at night right from this angle i can't wait when i look at it i wonder to myself if you'll be able to see the fireworks on tron light cycle because we've seen the fireworks from here before which are amazing by the way but if you're on tron light cycle i'm wondering if the overhang thing will block your view of the fireworks only one way to find out we'll see in a few years the cars here there's like crawling speed there's like medium speed there's fast speed but then there's this like super fast if you're all the way down full pressure Woo. oh my god there's a little bit of a traffic jam if we're in animal kingdom it's giraffe jam i've never seen that before the sign for the uh, maintenance bay actually has a tomorrowland speedway and underneath it says pit row that's so cool the seven doors mine train socially distanced line actually doesn't go much further than where we were last time we were like there and it was 25 or 20 minutes 19 minutes whatever it was it only goes slightly beyond it. The time now says 45 minutes for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. I would imagine that's probably true with the uh, advanced cleaning as well. Even though it may be a little bit more crowded in these general walking areas here, the area by Be Our Guest, this area by Ariel's as we make our way down there, still nice and empty. Now that is something right there, 15 minutes for Ariel's Undersea Adventure, and I can see the line does indeed go all the way through the queue line and all the way back out here. These, these guests are actually standing still right here as they're waiting to go into the uh, the actual queue itself. Very, very interesting. There's definitely 100% been an uptick in the number of people here at the Magic Kingdom. Now, some of the more popular attractions are more crowded, no doubt about it. But Dumbo right here says 10 minute wait. There, there's nobody, there's nobody in line. Let's go fly. I just love the fact that half of Dumbo's line is in the AC right here. To taking my time through this part, you can see the play area here is indeed closed, as you imagine. Time for a Christmas flight. all around. I see Astro Orbiter over there. I keep looking around all the amazing views. Cinderella Castle right there. People Mover. Other Dumbo across the way. <laughs> Takes getting used to seeing the other Dumbo flying at the same time. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas in July. Such a classic. Such a classic. Super sunny hot day in the Magic Kingdom. I could use some AC. Ah, uh, that's much better. Just a few minutes in the AC can do wonders. And more water too. I'll be getting more water my way around the Magic Kingdom, but let me tell you, having a magical day. It's more crowded here inside the relaxation zone today. Surprisingly, most of the tables are actually full 
think a lot of people have uh, figured out that this is the one with the strongest AC. Just 15 minutes, that's all I need to feel totally refreshed back out and about. My plan is actually to go towards the plaza. I couldn't get a reservation to dine there. I was looking and looking and looking, couldn't get a reservation. I wonder if they have any kind of walk-up availability. Let's go find out. 12.10 right now, you can see the crowds are much, much less here in the hub. Looks like probably most guests are off onto the rides or maybe even lunch. Making my way towards the plaza now, you can see there's even a line for photo pass right here. So uptick in crowds, but still space. So you can see it's kind of like that mix. I think Disney's probably experimenting, but they, you know, they tried the lower ones first, saw that it was working out a, you know, well, then they're kind of uh, moving to a new phase. Do I think we'll be able to get walk-up availability for the plaza? Probably not, but it's always worth a try. It doesn't hurt to ask. It's too popular. I knew that. That's okay. It doesn't hurt. You just check the My Disney Experience app. I'm actually going to make my way to the monorail right now and check out one of the resorts for lunch. Before we go, though, more water. Made it inside the confectionery. Water in hand, I'm drinking through it, but as I'm standing here, I realized that this Remy is right here. Can you see him? That is so, so cool. 1999 Chef Remy. That, I mean, I'm sure it's to get excited for his ride at Epcot coming real soon. Let's take a closer look around the confectionery today. Like many of the amazing stores at Walt Disney World, the confectionery is amazingly themed. You can see it's got that uh, great candy store feel to it. Even the walls have like a candy looking paper on it. Inside the confectionery, you can find all sorts of sweet treats. During normal times, this is an open kitchen right here where you'll see them making all sorts of those delicious treats. And usually there are more of these shelves all around, but a little bit more social distancing space today. You can see those lines for social distancing on each side here. And as we make our way through, you can see the M&M dispenser area. They're labeled by color, not by taste, because I would, would imagine they all taste the same. Red, green, white, pink, light blue, dark pink, and yellow there. Oh wow, they keep going around. Brown, silver, red, gold, aqua, green, and black. Oh my gosh, look at all these different M&M colors. Jelly beans as well, but these are labeled for flavor, not for color. Tutti fruity, very cherry, cotton candy, juicy pear, toasted marshmallow, green apple, and licorice. Wow. Tropical mix, root beer, fruit bowl mix, sun-kissed lemon, bubble gum, sizzling cinnamon down here, a w cream soda, 49 assorted flavors, my favorite, buttered popcorn, watermelon soda pop, wow, I've never tried that one before, and Dr. Pepper. The confectionery is well known for their sweet treats, but they also have the box treats as well. If you're looking for something to bring back home, I do recommend the uh, character cookies. Those are always fun. There are other ones too. I'll recommend it a little bit here. There are uh, a lot of great, delicious looking items here. Even have the uh, cocoa spoon there, so you can kind of mix up your uh, coffee or whatever it is with the cocoa. They have the cherry pie collection right here. That's what I'm calling it. Not sure if that's what it's really called, but you can see mini right there. Sweet as pie, Mickey, cherry on top, all these different uh, trays and plates. Love the uh, display tray right there. That's a great one. Rolling pins, containers right there. Oh, that is an awesome clock. I had not seen that until I uh, mentioned it. Wow. That is a great one right there for maybe a classic room. So, so cool. Aprons right there and more plates right over here. A lot of those Disney mugs that you can find here and in other locations around Walt Disney World. A lot of great ones here, including the Mr. Potato Head one right down there. See him right there? Hat on top, great one. They have a lot of delicious popcorn here, the caramel and caramel with cashews and almonds. Confetti popcorn, different colors. Gotta love that one. Churro. I don't think I've ever had churro popcorn. That's that's now on my list. I'm telling you, you go around here, you can see even more. Okay, we're continuing around. Looks like those are most of the flavors. Look at this, butter toffee almond. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna have to try that. Chocolate caramel with sea salt right there and even more, wow. There's Remy right there, love seeing him. Next to him, you've got another one of these kitchens right here, not in use right now. It's where they make some of the cotton candy. You can see they have it right here available for you. Pink version and blue version right there. Between pink and blue, I usually pick the blue flavor, but there's no problem with that pink one too. In the confectionery, they have some delicious slushies as well. They've got the blue raspberry flavor, lemonade and fruit punch. Big fan of all those, you know I am. Blue raspberry is usually my pick. And next to it, right over here, oh look, there's the uh, glacier ice. Wow, that looks really good. Next to it, you've got the coffee section. Tons of different coffees right here. They've even got the tea packs as well. Take a look, you got the uh, circular teas. It's been there for a long Long time. Remember those teas from way back. You got those honey spoons right there, and even more tea below. We've got cocoa here, smaller jars of cocoa, the uh, Mickey coffee right there for the K cups. See, they're actually in those single serve K cups, and you've got the grounds themselves a little bit higher. You've got your coffee press here and some mugs right there, and then you can see us. Hi! Right now they have these two flavors of mints. Looks good, but you know what my favorite is? The cinnamon, and I just confirmed with the cast member the cinnamon will be coming back at some point. We don't know when, 
but at some point. Here's that open kitchen right here, closed at the moment, but don't worry, they'll come back. They're coming back. On the other side, you've got your chip mug right there, but don't worry, that chip is just uh, for, for show, not a real chip mug right there. Then you've got the uh, Disney Parks transport vehicle right there with shortbread inside, $27.99. Shortbread round cookies right here, great for taking back to your friends and family back at home. These are great. So this is another one of those recommendations I have for bringing back for friends and family, the shortbread cookies. Confectionery on your way around the park. Now here in the confectionery, you can actually pick up some of those items that they make, including some of those cupcakes right here. And then when these guests are out of the way there, I'm gonna show you some more of those uh, other items that they make here. You can see near the registers here, we've got more of that special candy along the walls here. Goofy candy and even goofy cotton candy. Right over there, see that? There's a lot of it. And then the registers are right over here. Take a look at all these delicious treats right here at the confectionery. They've got those Rice crisp treats right there of course the chocolate covered apples got to appreciate those with the ears caramel ones too yum those cookies absolutely delicious love those but i think they're probably best known for their fudge look at that fudge right there peanut butter fudge right there chocolate peanut butter fudge right next to it chocolate fudge oh my gosh and of course cookies and cream fudge right over there tough to say no let me tell you want the best fudge at disney in my opinion here at the confectionery in addition they've got their delicious looking cupcakes right here we saw the patriotic ones just the other day tasted those yum and they got it looks like the cookies and cream ones and taffy as well see the taffy's in the uh, refrigerated section to keep them nice and fresh and then the uh, chocolate covered pretzels love those i love the confectionery great smells and here nice and well air conditioned and the candy is hard to resist all right let's head off to somewhere we have not been since it all closed Is a quiet resort. No one that I can see in the lobby at all. I, I can't see any, there's no one. Do you see anyone? I'm missing. Okay, I don't see anyone here in the hallways. No one. And this is unbelievable. Unbelievable to see. Take a look down there. there there's no one. There, there's no one down there. The hallways around me? Nope. Only two. Two cast members right there by the monorail. That's it. Wow, we, we gotta explore a little bit. Basin Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique not open as you would imagine. The M Mouse Mercantile is. There's an entire NBA section here in M Mouse Mercantile. They've got these basketball ears right there. Big fan of those, but I think these ears are gonna be even more popular. Take a look. They've got like the basketball, I don't know, uh, material on the outside. Then they got a basketball right there and a blue ribbon and the, uh, the blue headband itself. NBA Experience Basketball Mickey Funko Pop right there. Very cool. Slam Dunks jersey right there, and we've seen this lounge fly before. You see, it's the NBA Experience lounge fly bag. These socks are great, too, on the basketball shelf here. I look, they have those colors, which I really like. Of course, it wouldn't be a basketball theme without the basketballs themselves, with Mickey on them. They got smaller jerseys as well. These are $49.99. I can see the price from here, and they've also got sweatshirts, or what looks like sweatshirts right there as well. Again, don't want to touch them, but you can see they, uh, they have sweatshirts along with the jersey. The rest of M Mouse Mercantile looks very similar to how we left it last. Got to appreciate it. As we walk around here, you can see a lot of great toys and plushes and those sleeping plushes. Those are always so popular and I love them. Sleeping Mini. You know what? Have I seen Sleeping Mini? I've seen this Mickey. I've seen the Stitch. I've seen the Pooh. But I don't know if I've seen Sleeping Mini. The happiest snacks on earth. I would agree with that one. I love the music too. Da, 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 the entertainer. I really love the cast members. And they, while I was in there, while I was in M, M Mouse Mercantile, they kept saying over and over and over again how much they appreciated the fact that we came. The fact that we're here. They said, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming to the store. Thanks for just visiting. And it was... It was really heartfelt. I mean, there's a there's a ton of emotion right now, and it's it's easy to see why. A couple guests here with me, but this is incredible. This, my friends, is the Grand Floridian main lobby. Wow, that that's unbelievable. It's it's so quiet. I've never seen it like this before. I actually didn't check if Enchanted Rose is open or not. I would imagine probably no, 
but it's with something we'll definitely check in the future. Hi up there. We can hear the music from the pianist, but he's not playing here, so it's uh, definitely a soundtrack in the background. But I just can't get over this. Nice and quiet. Now my plan for lunch is to head over to Gasparilla Island Grill. I've been a really big fan of it since I had a sandwich there. I keep forgetting the names of them. We had a sandwich there that was so good. I uh, definitely want to try something else. Sandy Cove Gifts and Sundries is open. Got the entire store to myself here. And look at these, uh, the new bride and groom ears right there. I don't remember them saying happily ever after. See that? And the, uh, the bride now has that tiara. Right there, updates all around. I like this Grand Floridian robe right there. Super fluffy looking one, $154 right there. Luggage, always big fan of it. Look at this luggage. I've, I've seen the uh, the black with the colorful uh, icons right there. I like the, the colorful with the black icons. Now, for obvious reasons, there are areas of the Grand Floridian that we cannot go to if you don't know already. The NBA will actually be having their season right here at the Grand Floridian. Obviously, we can't go behind any blue walls where the NBA will be, but we can see a barber shop. Right over there, the NBA. That's pretty cool. We're actually headed that way toward Gasparilla Island Grill. I think they're calling it the NBA bubble right here. You can see the, the blue fence right there. And there's, uh, there's some special security cameras there to make sure that everyone uh, in the bubble is safe. And now we're actually headed this way, Gasparilla. Oh, almost forgot, mobile order. Okay, let's, let's do that. Got a great table here at Gasparilla Island Grill. Now let's do some mobile ordering. They have a wide selection at Gasparilla Grill. Lots of burgers and sandwiches. I remember the hot Italian sandwich is one that I absolutely love. I'm super tempted by it, but I really want to try the chicken and brie. I feel like we haven't tried it, and chicken and brie sounds like something that I would really, really enjoy. I'm always so torn when I know something is really good, I want to get it again, but at the same time, I want to try new things. That's That's been a, a goal of mine, so I'm going to go ahead and submit the chicken and brie sandwich. Now, you may recall the other day when our gorilla pod broke, I was on the hunt for a new tripod. Today, you're actually sitting on a new tripod. Smile, and there you go. It's actually that smaller tripod that I showed you before. It's working well in some ways. Other ways, it's going to be much more difficult for me to get used to it. I think I can. I think I can. I'm going to give it a real try over the next few days. And at, at first, it's it's an adjustment. I'm just kind of getting used to it and where I'm placing it. And sometimes when I move the table, the whole thing moves a little bit. But not a bad replacement for now. We'll see if I keep it. Not 100% sure yet. Maybe I'll try something else. But for now, it's not bad. Here it is. The chicken and brie sandwich looks absolutely delicious right there. Brie on top, maybe some uh, ham right in there. And of course, french fries on the side. Looking forward to giving it a try together. You ready? Bon appetit. First bite, not bad at all. I need another one though. Cranberry slash cherry jam flavor in there. Super good. As I'm eating through it, it's not bad. In terms of chicken sandwiches at Disney, I'm going to rank this one up there. Not on top, not on top, but it's up there. Somehow the mix of flavor with the a cherry or raspberry preserve in there is just the, like the strange thing to say, but then you eat it and it makes total sense. I'm not getting as much of the brie taste myself, but it's the other flavors. The chicken's cooked extremely well. It's a great sandwich. It really, really is. Only one issue, I like the hot Italian sandwich even more. That's not a bad thing. I love trying new things, but my favorite still. Here at Gasparilla Island Grill, hot Italian sandwich. I should note these fries are absolutely fantastic. It's like they just came out of the fryer. I, I don't think I've had fries quite like this at Disney before. It's like fryer basket on plate to me. It's so quick. Overall thoughts, not bad. If you love brie, that's not the one to go for. You know, I'm thinking to myself, like I've had other brie sandwiches that were like the like good flavored brie. This wasn't about the brie flavor. This was about the chicken and a little bit of that jelly that was with it. So if you're looking for the brie flavor, look elsewhere. Here I recommend the hot Italian sandwich. That is just so good. It's so, so good. Next time, onward. Yeah, I feel like I might as well just sit back and relax with you here for a little bit while we got the Grand Fury and Lobby to ourselves. Enjoying a drink, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like put the mask on between sips. I feel like that's that's the best way to do it. Just, you know, sitting sitting in an area that's social distanced, but mask on between sips. Looking up there, it looks like the Enchanted Rose is indeed open, so we'll have to go check that out a little bit later. Now, I do want to make a quick note about the NBA being here at the Grand Floridian. We don't get to see them. We don't really get to interact with them because they're in what's called the, the bubble over there, right? They're behind the blue wall. We, uh, we can see the blue wall, but we can't see them. So, in terms of impact of the Grand Floridian, the lobby, the Gasparilla Island Grill, there's none. There's no impact except for that uh, blue barrier that you can see if you look right outside those windows over there you can see the blue tough to see from here but uh, that's the only change that's it this tripod's going to take a little bit more getting used to but I'm, I'm getting it slowly but surely i'm getting it let's head up to uh, enchanted rose see what they're serving the gate was open right there and there's a this little arrow pointing us in but I, i'm not sure if they're <laughs> they're open yet i would imagine they might just be serving a little bit later i will uh, check the app or ask a cast member and find out that makes more sense 4 p.m to 11 p.m so not open 
quite yet, but the, the gate's open, so I'm guessing we can uh, take a little tour, take a look around. Always fun. Taking a closer look now at Enchanted Rose so that you can really gain that appreciation for the amazing theme in here. Check out that chandelier above. Very nice one. Almost looks like pasta to me. Just, you know, kind of like a yellow pasta, but it looks amazing, kind of put together like that. Here's the bar right here. Beautiful. And you can see the chairs are very unique, kind of that... Uh, it's not quite a leopard print, but it's it's kind of similar to it. They go all the way down there, and you can see there's social distancing markers all around. As we walk around here, you can see benches and chairs, so different styles of where you can uh, sit down and relax right over here. More chairs over here, so you can order different items on the menu or different drinks, and the frosted glass windows right over there. Here's a look at one of these columns right here. You can see it's kind of a very elegant design and a few of those kind of uh, gold leaves in there painted in. Now this I really like to see. I would imagine this is for those who are maybe a little bit shorter or perhaps in wheelchairs as well. This is fantastic, very accommodating to everyone. And if you look underneath the bar, it's actually, this is great. I had never seen this before. You ready for it? Areas to charge your phone. Just make sure you bring your own plug right there and you can charge your phone at the bar. It's not the only one, there's several of them all the way around. There's even one on that side as well. Wow. Walking into this room to the right-hand side of the entrance, you can see again that elegant theme, kind of the foresty theme over here. The forest goes on and on over here in this area of Enchanted Rose. You can see the little chandeliers up above and the tables match the, uh, the wallpaper and the green kind of couch right there to match everything. The chandeliers look like branches of a tree. You see that with the crystals? Right there, that's great. On this side, more tables right over here near the windows. The windows have an amazing view outside. Let's take a look out there. It's locked at the moment, but what you can see outside just right from here, the amazing view and those chairs right out there. We've enjoyed some time out there before. Really, really nice spot. Great view of the Grand Floridian and the Polynesian. You see it back there? There it is. Ugh, love it. Now, believe it or not, this is not the only area of Enchanted Rose. You actually go out over here, and then you turn right, and you've got another area of Enchanted Rose. You can see it's open for us, so we can take a look. That Enchanted Rose sign right there. Super nice as we make our way in here. You can see this area is also super elegant and unique. Got those chairs and tables all around. You can sit at any of these right here to make your experience unique every single time. I like that. Choose a different chair, choose a different view, choose something new. Areas for parties of two, parties of maybe four over there, and even larger parties at these tables right here. Probably can accommodate six of these. Lots of space over there on the right, but take a look right here. This is a big part of, of the Enchanted Rose. Of course, we got this standard look looking clock right there, not called Cogsworth or anything. No, no, no. And then we got the uh, rose over here, of course. Wouldn't be the, uh, the enchanted rose without the rose. And then in the fireplace, we've actually got candles in there. Take a look. They're in there, kind of illuminating the entire place. And when it gets uh, to night, when day switches to night, in this restaurant, it kind of just glows. Lights turn down just a little bit, and those are super nice lights, by the way. They turn down, and then uh, you get kind of the glow from the uh, fireplace. During the Super Bowl, we came in here, if you recall, and we actually saw the Super Bowl being played on a TV right there. I'm guessing it may be behind the picture right there, not sure, or maybe it's replacing the photo, who knows? But there's a lot of elegant, truly, truly elegant, uh, different items all around Enchanted Rose. Older photos, there's even books right there. I'm not gonna touch them, because I'd imagine they're probably not for touching, and you probably couldn't remove one anyway, but very nice look to them. Take a closer look at these chairs right here, kind of that yellow seat, right? Right there along with the rose on the back for Enchanted Rose. That's perfect. This is truly an amazing lounge here at Walt Disney World. One of the mo more recent ones that I guess that that's Cogsworth. Wait a minute. That's Cogsworth, not the other one. You gonna talk from no he, he doesn't talk. <laughs> that's Cogsworth right there. Amazing lounge. Usually doesn't get too crowded either. Nice and quiet most days. Now we already knew that Citrico's and Victorian Alberts were closed. We can see the little uh, barricade right there with the bush barrier as well. So we'll get back to them one day in the future. Such a great day today, celebrating Christmas in July. So, so much fun. I miss the holiday season at Disney and this is taking us one step closer to it. Thanks so much for sharing in the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.